how you going guys today I'm going to run you through how to create an e-commerce site on Squarespace let's jump straight into it we're going to go to the top right here in Squarespace once you've logged in and click create a site this will take you to a new site and you can select a template we're going to scroll through and have a look at some of the template options that we have available for an e-commerce site we might go down here and have a look at some we've got some options here popular designs we might go to online store and see what Squarespace suggests us now I really like the look of I'm not sure what but possibly I'm gonna go with this one here so we're gonna go start with the template and here we go Squarespace is now generating a bit of a template site for us to start with and once that's done, we can start editing it and get started. Here we go. You can see Squarespace has generated a custom URL. So you can copy and send this URL to people and it'll be password protected. And once you've got your password, people can access it. Let's skip all of this. Here we go. So here is the look of our new website. Now, Squarespace normally gives you 14 day trial but I'm a member of Squarespace Circle so I have 184 days but you'll get 14 days don't stress free so we'll get rid of that and let's jump straight in let's go on to pages here and this is where we edit the pages that we have available and you can see the pages that are located in the main navigation here so we've got log, lookbook, shop, about, contact, and then Instagram. I'm going to get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And get rid of that. And create a new home page. And call it home. We can go into the settings here and set this home page and now this will become our home page and this is the first thing that people will see you can see it's also got the URL dash home it's beautiful now I can get rid of this one too and that's gone now so now we have the one page which is a home we can go back here and we can start to edit the home page by clicking on the edit button here once we're located to it and here we go And we're editing now so here's our footer down here and here's our header and here's our page content so let's start with the header we're going to edit site header and we're going to have a look at our layout so we might keep it like this with the logo on the left hand side and the many items there and then a button over here we can then go into here at site logo and we're going to upload a logo we're going to go to our desktop and upload this image as our logo. Now once it's uploaded, Squarespace will let us adjust the height and size of the logo. Now because the logo is black and the head is black, we won't actually see it. But for the time being, we'll just go back and leave it like that. But we'll be able to change the colors in a second here we go we'll just quickly change it to white and there we go now we can see the logo and then we can go back in here and adjust the logo size just gonna make it bigger and there we go and now we can see our logo beautiful i also might make it a bit smaller actually a bit too big we'll put it 100 pixels and done now let's start in the page content so we'll click on it here and we're going to add a new section these are some of the templates that we can work with in the beginning see I want to start with just a simple image and a bit of text so I'm going to add a piece of content that looks like I think this suits my need quite well and we're going to add that 
then you can see this gets put in and we can start to edit this piece of content we're going to go in here and click on the edit button and change the photo so we're going to delete that one upload our own photo I'm going to upload this image here and set this as my first image and give it a better name and call it two balls black beautiful and then I can go into design here and edit the positioning of it I want it to go on the right hand side and I'm gonna keep the button there I'm gonna adjust the button though to go by now and we'll add a link to that later but we'll go and look at the animations and I don't really want any animations actually we might, might just make it fade in on loading and then we'll go apply now we can actually edit this just by clicking on it and you can see we can edit the top one too as well we might delete that bit there and we might just call this welcome to to bulls jerky we it out and there we go and now we can click save and we've already just started editing our first home page you can see it, it resizes depending on how you view the page and we'll click on mobile as well and have a look how it's going to appear on mobile here's how the website appears on mobile the button and the image is still there beautiful go back to the regular view and let's edit the footer down here Let's go edit footer and let's get rid of this. We don't need this, so we can just click the delete section and remove this section. And we might just remove this section too altogether. We might add our own site footer and we I might like something simple here, so I'm gonna add that one there. And we're gonna call it we won't remove that, we'll just edit that and go to bulls jerky and we'll Send it to contact at twobullsjerky.com and we can copy that and set that as a mail link by clicking here and going to email, putting it in, and going save and apply. Beautiful. And we can adjust the social links later. Click save and have a look at our website now. So now we have a nice and simple home page with a call to action and a footer and a header. It's time for us to go add our e-commerce page. So we're going to click main navigation and add another link and we're going to call it store. Here we go. We can sell your physical goods online and that's what we're going to do. So let's call it, let's go store two. And you should see that it'll pop up there and we'll call it shop here we go and then we'll rearrange that so it's behind home page and we can start editing it here we go we can click manage items and we can delete these items by going into them or editing them, I should say. Sorry, what am I doing here? Get rid of that. We jump in here and we go delete. There we go. And go delete. Delete that. Delete this one. Delete this one. And come on, Squarespace. And delete that one. And here we are. Now we've got 
empty shop and we can add our own. And we're going to sell a physical product, beef jerky, but you can select these other two or other three options if you'd like. So let's go physical. And let's call it chili beef jerky. Because that's our title. And let's give it an image. I'll put this image here. And we'll give it a quick description. The world's best chili beef jerky and made in Australia. If I can spell Australia with the capital, that'd be great. We're going to set the price at $30, but we'll put the sale price at 19 and click on sale. So now it will be on sale for $19, but we can also remove that and it will be on to $30. But we'll click 19 and have a bit of information there. We can add additional information and this will appear down the very bottom. So we can put in videos here if we have them by clicking here and clicking videos. We can click in add reviews and testimonials or we can just write more information. This is just how you can collect additional form information on checkout. This is just SEO. So this product can be located under shop and we'll kind of call it chili beef jerky and here we go you can see how it's going to look chili beef jerky site title and then we can add a description here eventually let's go back here and let's add a category and let's call it beef jerky and that should come up in a second. Beef jerky. There we go. And let's go save. So to make it unhidden, we've got to go in and publish it. So let's go in here. If it lets me, there we go. And let's go save and publish. Here we go, now the shop page will update. And here we go, we've got our image and the sale price. Let's click in here. And here it is. Chili beef jerky, the world's best chili beef jerky, handmade in Australia and add to cart. That's not a great image, we can probably find a better one. Chili beef jerky. Let's not do that actually. So we can test it out by going adding to cart and we can see it will be up here in the cart section and then from here we'll be able to check out and there we go click check out and we can enter our email and we'll be able to check out with shipping and payment let's just quickly check out and let's go continue and you can see we can enter in our postcode and put in our payment details and we'll be ready. Let's go back here though. Let's go back because we haven't really set up the shipping, the checkout area yet. We can even edit that. So now we've got a product in there. We can go back. I hope this video really helps guys with using Shopify I mean Squarespace and setting up an e-commerce website because it's a really great tool to use. Hope you guys learned a lot. Have a great day.